After decades with treatment-resistant depression, Angela Neal feels relief with a weekly dose of ketamine. You feel quite funny, sort of out of your body for a little while. It's providing her with some hope. You start to think in different ways. You, the sad thoughts that go round and round tend to stop. You're more um, flexible in your mind. Dr Shanti Sama is behind the Queensland Health Program that's making the ketamine available for free to a select group at the Gold Coast University Hospital. She co-authored a study which found it works for 20% of those involved. These people who've had really, really difficult to treat depression that haven't responded to the normal treatments and who are having a significant impact on their quality of life. Ketamine can be administered in different ways and it's only recommended for people in Angela's position. But it's very expensive for patients outside of trials and special programs. Doctors say that could change with more research. If the reports continue to show positive results, then I think we would be much more likely to support um, having ketamine um, registered as, a, as an accepted treatment under Medicare. Ketamine is used illegally as a party drug and overdoses can be fatal. Doctors say it should be used alongside traditional treatments and only for people who pass health tests. It's been... Um really heartening to see some new novel agents and treatments available for people who've been suffering for a very long time. Nicholas McElroy, ABC News, Gold Coast. And if this story has raised any issues for you, you can call Lifeline on 13 11 14.